Well, folks, I uh, I promised a video, uh, upcoming video on this Boland's Big Frame. Uh, so what I'm looking at here is this this tractor was recently, you know, kind of gone through uh, by a friend of mine, and sadly he left the state and and uh, and uh, moved away, and he didn't couldn't really take it with him, so I ended up with it. It has the original Wisconsin engine in it, and uh, unfortunately, I think this Wisconsin is going to end up coming out of it. I mean, I'd like to try to stay pure. I was going to, you know, take it apart and actually paint it, you know, a little bit better than what it was, um, which I still may do, but it, I don't think it's going to end up being a pure thing anymore. Uh, I have a feeling... I am going to take this engine out and put something better in it. Um, at this point, this is just kind of a dream of mine. I don't really have the means to do that at the moment. We got, you know, we got projects and, uh, you know, I'd need some significant money to make this one kind of a reality. Um, I would love to take the time into tearing this down making a full video series of this um this is a hydrostatic drive tractor this is not one that i think i would turn into a mud mower um i know there's been a couple of people that have told me this would make one hell of a mud mower um i don't think it's going to be that it may be a mud mower retrieval uh tractor um which you yeah, kind of gotta be a little bit of a mud mower <laughs> to be able to do that you know maybe some tires and stuff but i uh i i want to keep it like this um i do have this kind of a dream to put make some sort of a quick detached uh a, lift for the back um whether it's you know winch operated or what kind of like a wrecker you know with a little boom and a uh like uh you know the old style wreckers that have the tow bar on it something like that you know that pivots um and i can also use for moving you know these you know dead mowers and stuff around and lifting up heavy objects you know, just enough off the ground, you know, not a crane thing, just almost purposely for towing around, uh, smaller wheeled things. Cause I, I part out mowers all the time. Um, and really it would be, uh, a, you know, beneficial part of my collection. Now this Wisconsin does, will run. It's not, it doesn't want to run right now reason being i ran it a lot when i first got it uh this spring i ran it all the time it ran pretty good um it wasn't the best running engine in the world it was very quirky i had to adjust the carburetor um quite a bit but now i'm noticing um a lot of compression loss and one of the areas is right in here this head I believe is cracked right there you can kind of see a wet spot there and it does bubble when you're trying to start it so that's one issue uh, another issue and i can't remember where it is but it looks like a hairline crack and i'm pretty sure it's in a spot if i remember correctly that i can't really see all that well and the only reason why i saw it was because I was goofing around on it a little bit. You know, I was actually had the starter off. I'm pretty sure it was on this side. But anyways, um, it's got... It, they. He said that they rebuilt it. I believe my dad was involved with this. They did a uh, valve job and a couple other things. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, So I could go and ask him, but honestly... This thing is far from perfect. I mean, it 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 could be. It's in really good shape. 
I want I wanted to try to be pure. I even wanted to like paint it the right color and um, you know, kind of go through it. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be closer to that. I may be wrong. That might be the color it's supposed to be. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on these. Um I haven't done a ton of research. I honestly don't even know what model this one is. If anybody knows right off the bat, um, let me know. I think it's a 12. Or, I can't remember if I, I, I think I figured it was either a 1255 or a 1455. Anyways, um, I want to take this engine out. It's just, it's just how I feel about this. Um, I want to take this engine out and I want to put in, um, something modern horizontal shaft, uh, but not sure what. And that's where, you know, whoever is watching this comes in, uh, would love suggestions, would love to see if you have links to anybody that has put a uh, different engine in. Other than stock, other than uh, swapping in a, a one that's a little bit more horsepower, I'm looking for what you think would be the best engine in this. I was thinking, uh, I was hoping maybe I could find possibly a Cub with a bigger horizontal, uh, like V twin, um, or any really horizontal V twin. Um, I have, I'm going to be at some point, uh, starting on my mud mower build, which is a 67 Sears. Um, but that's going to be a full custom, just, I'm going to, the, the frame on that and the, the hood and the way it's set up is all going to stay the same, but everything else, uh, dr pretty much drivetrain engine, everything on that is going to be all custom. And I'm going to buy a brand new engine for that one. I don't want to buy a brand new engine for this one. Um, but I would love... I got to take, take some measurements and figure out what could fit in there. I do have another Wisconsin, but it needs a full... When I mean full rebuild, it needs a full rebuild. It needs to be totally torn down. It's stuck. You know, I'd need to put a significant amount of money into it. This one is just tired it's really tired i mean you can tell this thing has uh worked a lot so if anyone wants to give suggestions on this and as some of you know uh from my previous video there's one the one right before this i kind of talk about where I want this channel to go is I, you know, I got this small engine business. Um, I've owned this business, Collins Custom Services, for many years, um, part time, and I've been uh, five, six years uh, working on six years full time, five years full time. Um, I've worked five years full time this year, just this business. I want to, I want to utilize YouTube and social media platform and advertising stuff and uh you know like google uh, associates i think it's called and um and merchandise stuff because i i feel like this is a merchandise name that i can use um you know i can possibly make videos primarily for this make the money and put it right into it you know what i mean i mean there's a lot of people doing it out there um, I just don't have the means to do it with, with this one. I mean, I, all the rest of these, like my, so this is my lawnmower lawnmower and this hood came off from that mower, which is a total custom, th you know, mower. And I took skins off from another one to put it on those. Cause I like the older look and I didn't want to mess up this hood because this hood is sentimental to me. This is Jolene. As some of you have seen in some of the videos, um, it's a small mod uh, racing mower, drag racing mower. And we got a 301 Predator swapped. Uh, not sure what style this uh, 
go-kart is called. We've got that, you know, and I can afford all this stuff. I mean, it's all, I got parts for these mowers all over the place. Everything on this is super simple, super cheap. Swapping engine out of this thing, I could do it on a budget, but I still need the extra income and I just can't justify it. I don't have the extra income, but I want to do it. I want to swap. I want to take that engine out bloop, and I want to put a good, either a really torquey single or a nice high horsepower V-twin. Whatever would fit. I want to put the biggest engine I can fit in between there. If I did a different gas uh, gas tank and different battery mount, even if I like switch that around, put it forward, I could probably go with something pretty decent size. Um, you know, I don't want to cut anything on this really. I, I don't mind fabricating, welding new mounts, whatever, but I don't want to cut up that hood none of that tractors in good shape um but anyways so i want to make this happen but to make that happen i need followers i need a way to make money i i got to get into it so i need pointers you know what i mean and i need uh i need to you know i i got the know-how it's just the money situation so and i'm not i'm not really too fond in setting up a gofundme um you know i want to feel like i work for for it so you know let me know what what you would like to see with this what engine you'd like to see it in that um if you're liking the idea of like a wrecker style uh this is a this is a heavy tractor mind you i like the idea of a tow bar with a boom style wrecker tractor Something I can get some, you know, get probably get some uh, more, you know, get some four wheeler treads on the back of this thing. Something that uh, I don't know what size these are. I mean, it's a pretty big rim. So we're looking at 26, 12 by 12. Um, and it's a six lug. And I don't know if that matches like Chevy G uh, a GM Toyota six lug i'd have to do some more research if so i could i mean sky's the limit i i i could do all sorts of stuff um you know put some ag tires on the front or something and just having a you know something i can go go out with them birds and just be the tow vehicle if somebody breaks down um that's kind of the way i want to go with this something i can move around like a junkyard uh tow vehicle uh Something I could go pick up, you know, pick up, even go pick up a big rock and move it around the yard, you know, something like that. That is my idea of this build. Um, I could go resto. That's probably what a lot of people would want me to do, but I'm feeling like, uh, yeah, that's the way I'd want to go. So again, let me know what you think. Um, I hope that you like my video. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it interests you. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.